Welcome to our tutorial on basic dimensioning. I'm going to select the Dimension command from the Dimensioning toolbar. The same command is available under Insert, Dimensioning, Dimensions. I'm going to select one line and a second line. Click mouse button 1 and you have your dimensions. After we've created our dimension, we can still adjust the position. Let's try this again. Click Dimension. Katia prompts us in the information corner to select the first element for dimensioning. I'll select this edge and create another dimension. Let's now right click on Front View, Properties, choose Hidden Lines and Center Lines. Click Apply and OK. Now we have center lines and hidden lines, which appear here and here. This hole is not visible on the front view, but we do see hidden lines right here. Actually, before, let's create one more dimension. Select this line and this line. Katia creates an angle dimension. Let's select dimension again. And we're going to select the edge of this hole. Katia now creates for us a diameter dimension. If we want to create a radius dimension, we expand this toolbar and choose radius. Now we have a radius dimension. Or go back to dimensions and click on the edge of this hole. Right click and choose the dimension you need. In this case, you can choose between diameter or radius. Now, if I click on the center line, handles appear. I can drag those to change the center line length. Let's create a dimension between the center line and the edge. We do see dimension values in millimeters. We can change it to inches. Highlight everything. And go to this drop down menu. Choose Number Dim Inches. Now we see the dimensions in inches. Lastly, I'd like to show you chamfer dimensions. Select the chamfer dimension and select the chamfer, a second line, and a third line. Now right here in the Tools palette, we can choose Length to Length, Length to Angle, choose one symbol or two symbols. After I'm satisfied with my choice, I click the left mouse button, and I will have a chamfer dimension. To choose the visual appearance of dimension lines, use this drop-down menu. After we select, we can still adjust the dimension lines. Next, I'd like to dimension this line here. When I mouse over it, though, I see that it's actually two separate lines. That's because the solid was created this way. This is, this is one solid and this here is another. There's a way around this. Select dimensions. What you're going to do is create dimensions between this line and this line. First I select this dimension and then this one here. But watch what happens. Katia creates an angle dimension. So what we do here is right click and we have two more choices. 
Distance, and Minimum Distance. If I select Distance, Katia may create a dimension between this line and this tangency. That's not what we want here. So I select Minimum Distance, and Katia then gives me the dimension I need. This concludes our tutorial on basic dimensioning.